Hey Sam's and welcome back to another test. So we got uh, B2 melee build for um, Raditz here. Number one with key plus two super minus one fighting spirit serious. Quick fast attack, dandy healing, and unleash key on Gohan AI versus Vegeta for finally something for Vegeta with key plus one super minus one fighting spirit serious. Quick fast attack, dandy healing, and rising fighting spirit on Yajirobe AI. So, you're pretty much seeing who's going to be the better one. I, I'd give it to Vegeta. You know, Vegeta's been putting that work with that build. Well, Raditz, as you clearly saw by the last video, he just couldn't pull it out. But, hey, you requested test. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I kind of feel like Rising Fighting Spirit's a waste of a point. Like, look, Raditz, already at full power. There goes a point that Vegeta didn't even need. Top Class Warrior, Gallic Gun. Ooh, he ate that for 8k points of damage. Like I said, voting. Vegeta's gonna show you how it's done. He's he's gonna have to haze Raditz. He's gonna have to haze the new guy. Like I said, I think the attack plus two defense minus one is a definite on Raditz. I think that he's the one for it. I don't notice how fast Vegeta shoots out key blasts. People are trying testing out them key blast builds. Maybe Vegeta could do it. I don't know. Or Raditz at max power. Charge rate though. They both have that good charge rate, though. I think they have the exact same charge rate. Gallic Gun connects. Wow. Raditz ran right into that. Yeah, Vegeta is showing them how it's done. He's like charging B2s. That's how you get it done. He charged up the max power for no reason, Raditz. He didn't even use it. I also think that definitely they should be having... Oh, Gallic Gun connects. Wow. I thought you were going to do something. Yeah, I think I think we learned something. High Speed Clash. Raditz should win. Yeah, Raditz wins. Be gone in Ultimate. Connects. Nice. For 1.2k points of damage. We need to charge up to max power. We see a dirty fire. Or oh, we just see... Just for you to slap the crap out of... Nope. Final Gallic Ken. Top Class Warrior, High Speed Clash. That it should win. Yeah, there goes uh, Top Class Warrior. Can I, and wow, he actually beats Vegeta. It's because it was the Unleashed Key. No, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Now it's over, okay. Yeah, it was the Unleashed Key. That was the only reason why, because I, I said, I do not know why you don't have Clash Plus on Vegeta. Vegeta is definitely a character who would warn Clash Plus. Rising Fighting Spirit. See, that was a difference. Rising Fighting Spirit. Alright, he's already at max power. Raditz can easily... I mean, he has key plus two. He can charge up to max power. Final Garlic Cannon. So you should have gave him uh, the Unleashed Key. At least. Raditz dodges the, the, the Garlic Cannon. You know, they both got B2s that are clashing. But you gave Raditz the advantage with plus one. But you didn't give Vegeta anything. And it seems like Vegeta is definitely a character who would like it. Final Gallic Cannon. He likes his side of Cannon. You're not going to give him any, you know, Clash boost? That's ridiculous. Connects for 6.5k points of damage. Like I said, if Raditz wins this fight, I'd, I'd, I want to see it, but I'd probably cut chalk it down to him having that, that Clash boost. Final Gallic Cannon. Dodged by Raditz, because all Raditz has to do is just whenever Vegeta does a rush, just go ahead and just try to do a high speed clash, and he'll probably win it. The chances of him winning are higher. Final Guard can again. Dodged. That is not a tracking one, that's just straight. I don't really see Vegeta as a melee character either. I say he's more of a, a, a B tour. I think you should give him like ignitation and stuff like that. You could just make him a full on just B tooing monster if you wanted to. You can give him a uh, full power by Rad's Connects. And Raditz might actually be able to take this. Top class warrior. Blocked by Vegeta. Nice Vegeta. Uh, you can give him key plus two, super minus one. You can give him a uh, launch support, that's three. Uh, uh, Ignite Nation. Uh, Fighting Spirit, if you want to attack that on there, if you want to. And then Power of Rage. I think that's a pretty, bit, pretty good build. 
So if you want to try it out, go ahead. Vegeta wins it. Alright, so we're going on to round three at least, but still a close one. Uh, I'd, I'd see more of a spam build. I'd say Vegeta's more of a spammer than anything. He's done more B2s than anybody on your team. He likes his garlic cannon, so you might as well give it to him. But yeah, see, the Rising Fighting Spirit's not useful. Raditz connects. 6.1k points of damage. It's a little bit lower than I was anticipating it to be. Another grab from Vegeta. Final Garlic Cannon, because he know you likes he likes it. Connects! See? Not really a melee. You've got other melee on the team that Gallic gun misses. But hey, I'm just giving out advice here. Take it or leave it. I'm just saying, he's definitely a spammer. Gallic gun. Alright, it's just more of a melee. So. Final guard cannon again. Look at this. Look how many B2s he's been launching. Dodge by Raditz. I mean, but he's been launching them though. Here's a present. Dodge by Vegeta. So like I said, that one victory that uh, Raditz had, I chalk it up to having Unleashed Key. If he didn't have Unleashed Key, he would have lost. And it looks like right now he's going to lose this again. So let's just go ahead and say that Vegeta 3 and owed him. I don't know, Raditz can do something. Sansol does not connect. Vegeta gets all up in his face real quick. And Vegeta wins. Alright, so I hope you learned something from this test and the previous test. Maybe you learned that, maybe keep plus two and stuff on on Raditz isn't the, the route to go. Uh, maybe you should leave the key plus two to Vegeta, give him the attack plus two defense minus one. I mean, that's how you beat Gotenks, boo, right? Alright, so... I hope that these videos are helpful. Like I said, request a test anytime. I'll try to get them to you as soon as possible. Thank you for supporting me as your tester, and most of all, thanks for watching.